another project. This is a cooling fan for a radiator. I've been experiencing problems that the fan has been sticking. And it is getting very hot. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking apart this entire motor and inspecting the bearings. And if I have to replace the bearings, I have new ones and I'll be changing them out. So let me disassemble this and we're going to take a look at the inside. In order to remove the motor, this clip has to be removed to pull the fan blade off. It slides off. So I have to lift this up. Hopefully it doesn't break. And as I'm lifting up, slide it that way. And it's starting to go. It's kind of rusted out. A little bit of WD. Let me try wedging this open. Keeping it like that. And now I should be able to tap on it. And there we go. Let me clean the area a little bit. See what's going on. See how it's attached on the shaft. All right, there's an aluminum insert, and then the shaft slides through that. So, after being on there for 26 years, it looks like the steel and the aluminum are kind of stuck together. I'm gonna have to continue to keep tapping on that, and hopefully, I don't break the, the fan blade. It's not budging too well. There are two nuts holding this motor together. One is right here and the other is on the opposite side. I don't know if you can see that. What I'm going to do is drill a hole in the plastic so I can put my nut driver straight through and I can undo the nut. I'll be able to slide off the front and then I'll be able to take off the back and slide the armature out. So let me give that a shot. I drilled two holes in positions where the nuts are located. I really only needed one. I could have spun it around, but to keep things in balance, I drilled two holes. There's the nuts I took out. Now I'm going to turn it over and try and separate it. These bolts are probably going between the two arc magnets. Once I remove those two, there's one of them right there. They would not separate the cover. So I reached inside with this bolt from an electric sprinkler pump motor, pushed it through to the back of the cover and banged on it until it popped off. This is the brush holder. Everything looks good there. Still plenty of brush left on here. Push that back in. You can see the armature in there and the commutator. Now I'm going to try and remove the other cover right here. We reach in and tap on the other plate. See if I can loosen it up. And I think I just did. Uh, not quite. Try again different spot. There it is. Slide it over the magnets. I'm going to clean all that out with some brake cleaner. Windings don't look bad, just a little dirty. So 
a lot of crap in there. And I see the bearing, that's the problem. Right there, that one. All right, it wasn't easy. Got the fan blade off without busting it. That's what the other side looks like. I gotta take that roll pin out and slide this off. All right, I took out the roll pin, and you can see it's got a crummy bearing in here. It's oblong. I don't have this one. I have a ball bearing type, so I'm gonna drill out the four rivets and press on a ball bearing type right here and then reinstall the top and hopefully the fan spins smooth because that's really all I can do with this motor that I have here. Bearing is in, nice. Going to reinstall this and give it a shot. In order to use a sealed ball bearing where the old bearing used to be where it broke, what I did is I brazed in a steel ring into the cover of the motor and I could now place the sealed ball bearing inside that area and not have it moving around because the other opening was too large. that and you can see right there all right it's in turns nicely no more grinding noises I'm gonna put the blade back on and see how it spins clip is back on the blade fan blade turns nice and smooth Let's power it up and see how it sounds. All right, I got the fan all back together. And before, like I said, it was extremely noisy and the motor was overheating the windings because the bearing was so worn. I'm gonna turn on the engine right now and this should automatically come on. sites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you very much for watching.